Hello, good day again. This is Nelka and I received another email or message from one of our subscribers. Her name is Tanya. And she said, um, Bravo Nelka, could you also please prepare a tutorial on how to create this terrain? And she's referring to this video. This is my video where you can see that there is a nice what do you call this terrain or contour or mountain in this video so um tanya i did not create the terrain somebody gave it to me and that is from 3d warehouse sketch up because um yeah you can have it there like for example you can check for say mountain and the SketchUp will give you a lot of mountain where's the mountain no mountain there you go there are so many mountains here like for example this one and then you can um, save it as 3ds and you can import it into your dialux evo or dialux files or in your calculation I have one project that is um, a golf course and I really need to get the terrain so what I did is I asked for the contractor or the the consultant the contour of the project because sometimes the pole will be located at the top of the terrain or below the terrain so it affects the calculation so I have this one this is um, a sketch of file and um, this is from the real contour of the site so I got this one. I also got the layout of the greens and the cart cart pots and also some water features here. And uh, what I did is you cannot make it really as like very soft terrain because uh, yeah you can do it in SketchUp, but if you want to do it, I mean used in your calculation, you have to make be precise with the height of the contour. Like for example, this one. This is the golf course. So, for example, this one is in the upper part of this terrain compared to this one. So, um, yeah, it affects the lax value or the uniformity of the calculation. That's why it's really important to get your um, terrain. There are two ways, actually, to get your terrain. One is by building it up, like what I did here. It's like an extrusion. Uh, sorry, this one is from SketchUp, like this one. So one is from SketchUp, you build the terrain in SketchUp, and the other one is by uh, building it in the Dialux itself or in your Dialux Evo. For example, I will show you one example. So either by SketchUp or by the Dialux Evo terrain itself. But if you really want to get a nice contour, like for example, the one in the video, this one, you will need to get it from the 3d files from sketchup i will show you again one project where i created another terrain and um, you will love it so here you go there is one another example with a nice terrain if you can see that this mountain is really cool yeah see so you can get this one in SketchUp, in 3D Warehouse SketchUp, look, this is really huge terrain, and yeah, it's an object, and you can easily get it for free in SketchUp. Here's another one. This is another one, which is a sandy area. So, yeah, this one is another nice terrain, and I, I added a ocean on this side. But this one is an object. It's really an object. If you want, I can send you this terrain. Just please send me your email so I can send I can send it to you. These objects. So the 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 first uh, one, how you can get a terrain or how to build your terrain is by getting it in SketchUp 3D Warehouse, and the other one is by building it through. Uh, sorry. By build, yeah, correct. By building it through your SketchUp file itself. Like for example, uh, here, for example, this one, a blank one. Like what I did in my, my um, 
in my golf course project so you go to this one floor element for example this is your terrain and then yeah you can see it's it's there so the height of this terrain is um, 0.1 so if you want to make your terrain always in 0.5 then you can do uh, do it so and then you can add the terrain you just have to follow the contour you can get the contour line from your um, sur surveyor or from geodetic engineer so make it 0.5 again and then from there you can um, build it one by one the only um, ugly thing about this creating a terrain in Dialux Evo is that you will not have a nice con a soft contour like like for example this one it doesn't have a nice contour because Dialux Evo is not so f um, good enough in creating a contour it's basically more of a rigid object so yeah so I think I answered your question <laughs> all right um, wait um, okay on how to get it in uh, 3D Warehouse, just click this one, download and uh, select the model in SketchUp, like 2015 or maybe 2008. I keep on using 2008 because I have the 2008 license. So, yeah, you can download it for free and then convert it into um, 3DS. I will show you uh, this one. For example, once you um, open your SketchUp file, go to the file and export it and then 3D model and then that 3ds or 2ds file and then export from there you can use it now to your um, dialux ebo file okay i hope you like it bye